Okay, Coach, um, coming off of Austin and uh, another good win in the U.S. Open, um, what what do you see in how this team's building moving forward? Again, I think it's it's managing each of these games in the right way. Uh, going to Austin was the warmest game of the year. Uh, good team with a good attack. I thought the guys managed the day very well, and uh, we defended well for sure against a team with a great attack, and um, and we took care of business. And the U.S. Open Cup again, it's managing situations. You know, it's going down to Great Park against a team that uh, was organized and competed hard, and. Uh, we we were able to to get into our depth a little bit and give some guys some good minutes and uh, that's been that's been great because we we're we're in the midst of what's going to be seven in like 24 days and so it means everybody needs to be ready to contribute if we if we're going to get you know have success through this stretch so that's that's the importance of Wednesday and, and a great result on the road uh, in Austin and now we prepare for another another tough game so uh, you know I think this the early part of our schedule this year has been challenging and so this is another one this weekend at home against Dallas who's doing well and uh, and I think in general the Western Conference is strong this year so I think every game is a challenge for us but Dallas is a good team and now we're home again and we've We've got to manage the day well and continue to try to create more goal scoring chances, score more goals, be a little bit more efficient in the final action uh, and continue to continue to defend the way we're defending as a group. Yeah, focusing on that final action, what, what do you feel is missing, whether it's in pace or that final pass or, or the setup to the attack? Yeah, you know, sometimes for me, it's uh, it is the change of tempo. It's recognizing that the moment is now and uh, and it's the pass before the final pass sometimes it's it's the information pass so if i'm leading the assist passer into the right place that gives the finisher kind of a cue as to where he needs to make his runs and then that gives the cue to the crosser where he needs to play the ball and getting that in sync a little bit better i think is uh is something we need to do the final decision on our cross where we put the ball even last night we had a number of chances where we're in that in the assist zone and we we kind of hit the same cross every time and they block it and we need to have a little bit more variation where we put the ball and make sure we have the right runners in the box. So again, it's just, it's timing, it's connection, uh, continue to work through some of those things, those final decisions. Um, but it's, you know, we're getting there more times than not, we're getting there and we're creating enough chances. Um, but I'd like to see more and I'd like to see us put more on goal. The other thing is I think our guys need to organize themselves to finish in one touch. They, you know, even last night we, we stopped too many balls and tried to finish in two touches and teams that are so committed in front of the goal are blocking it or, or we're not getting the shots off and we're going into another possession moment. So just, again, it's, it's using our time wisely and, and, uh, and getting our timing right and the right decisions in the final product. Any update on the health of Victor? Yeah, Vic's doing great. Uh, trained full today, uh, trained yesterday, has built in all week. Uh, he'll train full tomorrow. You know, if he continues to move forward, then he would be available for the weekend. Thoughts on Dallas? Great. Good team. Uh, good team. I think, again, they have some similar qualities to our team, and uh, they have some variation in the way that they'll structure their team, a little bit based off of the opposition. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I'll look like a 4-4-2, sometimes I'll look like a 4-3-3, uh, you know, mobile in terms of the Ferreros is, is a mobile. He'll drop off the front line, create overloads in midfield, but he's super dynamic. So he'll come sprinting out of, out of the midfield or he'll run behind. Uh, so we've got to be able to manage him. Uh, Ariola, their wingers are, are aggressive and direct. Um, so I, again, I see a a lot of qualities of a team that's well coached and, and well organized uh, and whatever you kind of do, they adapt to it. So it's going to be an interesting game because we'll be both kind of adapting to each other a little bit through the course of it. So uh, should make for an interesting day. What does Mark Delgado meant to this, this team this season? It's just, uh, I mean, Mark is, is really aware. Uh, he's aware of what's happening, what's going to happen next. He covers so much ground over the course of 90 minutes uh, his his ideas and his solutions when he's on the ball, he plays fast, which is important for our team. Because uh, we're talking about building speed into our game, he's one that usually plays uh, in as few as touch as possible, and he's always available, uh, doing the work to get to the right spaces at the right time. So for me, it's just kind of the engine room of everything that we've been that we've been able to do uh, defensively. He transitions so quickly from attack to defend and covers, like I said, covers ground, reads plays, wins ball. So he does he does a lot of the work from you know box to box that you, you want your midfielder to be able to do uh, and he does it in such a unba- an unselfish and in a way that balances the entire team and so uh, he's been he's been huge for us he was huge I thought in, in, in Austin 
you know, I thought that he was, uh, for me, the man of the match, and just in terms of being able to um, help us control control the moments in the game that we needed to. And uh, so, he, he, again, he's he just, I, I, I think it all comes back to just his field awareness and his presence. He understands what's happening and what needs to happen next, and he gets there. Uh, he gets there when he needs to get there. It's been, been really nice to have him. And for Victor, what do you need to see tomorrow that makes him like really on, on the game day game day roster? Yeah, just more of what he did today, to be honest, to make sure that he you know that he feels good after today and he feels good after tomorrow, and then he would be available for us. Um, so, but you know, he comes out to training and he's been off for two weeks, yeah. and he's one of the best players out there. You know, so uh, it's not a matter of soccer; it's just a matter of physically that he's he's checking all the boxes and he's ready to go. His fitness level is good. His sharpness on the ball, all those things are good. Uh, and look great today, and tomorrow will be just one more opportunity for him to prepare. Um, Matthew, the U- yes. U- Ukrainian refugee, you were able to uh, sign to a Galaxy kit today. What did, what did that mean for this this uh, club? Yeah, it's it's awesome. Uh, I mean, the young man and their family has gone through so much to even be where they are, and can't even imagine what they're going through in terms of um, you know their homeland and everything that's going on there. He split from his brother and his mom who were somewhere else, and just to have him here and give him a give him a day where he can interact with you know, players who are, uh, professional players, which is what he loves and aspires to be. And, uh, to give him an opportunity to be out here and for us to, to get to know him a little bit, it's been, it was awesome for our guys and I'm sure it was great for him. So those are, those things always work both ways, you know, cause it's, it's meaningful to all of us. And I'm sure we're, we think we're doing something for him, but he's really doing something for us as well. So it's, uh, it was great. It was great to have him out here all day. Okay, one more. Uh, it's 90s night on Saturday. What was the fashion trend you were most ashamed of sporting in the 90s? Oh, my gosh, the <laughs> 90s. Uh, I had a little, like, fad in the 90s where I was kind of – it's not that I'm ashamed of it. It's just totally different than where I am now. And it was a little more like country. I had some cowboy boots and uh, – yeah, that didn't it didn't last beyond the '90s, but for a little while in the '90s, I, I was going that way for a bit. It's not that I'm ashamed of it, just not really who who I who I am, I guess. <laughs> so we'll see you in the boots on the yeah, sideline. You, yeah, you might see the old logo though, the '90s logo come out. We'll see. All right, <laughs> All right. thanks so much, Greg. <laughs>